Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy RNL, because welcome back to another recap episode of Ruby Volume 8. And last week, we didn't we didn't have a Ruby episode. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. I didn't really look into it, but... Now, granted, every time during their se- their volumes, there was those, there's always, like, you know, a break in between it. But this time, we got two breaks, because we have to break from December to February. Now, cause I'm thinking, like, okay, after that, everyone gets... Eight uh, straight, um, straight eight straight episodes. Now we uh, had a delay, so I don't know why, but you know, yeah, here it is, barely late than ever. So you know, I'm fine with that. So let's get right down to episode. What was it? Episode ten? Let me, let me a little bit double check. Uh, pretty sure it was episode ten there. Just watch. Let me just double check. Yep, episode ten. So we start with you know with a general Ironwood, like he. Ironwood is just, uh, let me see. Ironwood is just, you know, he's. He's just had his. Um, he's very. He's frustrated right now because um, you saw how um, Sidner blew up the prison system <laughs> in, uh, in, in um, the holding cell when we had um, uh, Crow and Raven. Um, now, um, as. Oh, actually, no, no. So. They said that they had uh, Shanice in custody, and Watts was gone. But what, yeah, he pretty much I did not care about uh, Watts because it's like you know what, what what can he do? Um, he's more focused, mad that you know um, they lost Raven and they lost not I say Crow and uh Crow and um sorry what I say what's what's the name again? I ruined that. Oh my god, uh, sorry guys, I'm so mad that I'm uh that I, uh, and Rob I don't know, I don't know why I get these confused. Yeah, they lost Crow and uh, Robin, both birds. Um, so now, you know, he is the iron rest pest. And, you know, he said, don't come back to my office unless, you know, you unless you know you have good news. So right now, he he ain't happy. Like this episode, he, he ain't happy at all. So what's funny is that as soon as, you know, um, as soon as that happens, um, he calls him and then bang, a huge, huge explosion. And I'm like, yo, what the hell just happened? Because I'm thinking like, yo, is this like a dream of like, you know, a vision what somebody had? And I'm like, wait, it's guys, it's, it's gotta be Oz's, uh, Oz's uh, explosion. What, what happened? And because remember in the last episode, um, Oz, well, Oz and well, Oz and Oscar, I'll just say that. Oz and Oscar used their magic, you know, to make a huge, huge explosion to um, the uh, stop center because. Not Cinder, uh, I am I am off today, guys. Let's stop Salem. Um, it's just slow down because how they keep running, you know, she just come after us. So we better slow her down, you know, and you know, in order for us, you know, to recoup, recoup, recoup of everybody, you know, would be good. So as as we see the explosion on, we see from your face, we see uh, Neo skipping around with the limb. You know, it's now she has the uh, she has the relic. So. Um, now you know she what what she's gonna do with it. We don't know, but we do see her again later in the episode, though. So, um, uh, as you know, they're getting together. Um, um, now, Winter, Schnee, and the Ace House were they were about to deliver the bomb until you know before that explosion happened. So, Ironwood calls him, "Hey, mission accomplished. Good job." And Mary's like, "Yo, that wasn't us." And like you know, Winter's like, "We'll tell him when that happens." So as that happens, while well, Watts and Cinder, they're like, okay, they know they saw the explosion. They're like, okay, is everybody else okay? Yada yada. So um, now you know, um, now with um, with Cinder, Cinder assumes that uh, Watts has Penny under control. Watts is like, I don't have her under control. I put a virus in her. Now, granted, she's struck, she's managing, she's managing to you know, fight off of it, but she do what she did. She, 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 well, she, okay. I'm over a place today, guys. I don't know why. I just you know, I recorded with my friends talking about WandaVision. So, you know, here I am back to back with another recording. And I have the notes right here, but like, I'm just like off today, guys. I am terribly sorry about that. But he's like, I don't have full control where I put a virus in her. Now, once she now once she does her duties, it opens the vault, she'll uh she'll um she'll destroy herself. And that sets Cinder to be pissed because like how much is it still the winter maiden powers? If she is no longer dead, it's like I don't work for you. I work for Sam. Sam isn't here right now to help you. So you know she was, you know, kind of threatened uh, to kill uh, 
to kill uh, um, Watts, but then Watts goes in on her. Like, like he starts laughing. It's like, because pretty much she's like, hey, what you're going to do is you're going to tell me where this girl is. You're going to figure You're going to figure it Help me so I can get her power. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, that's right. That's like, that's what we're going to do, because everything you try to do works so well. Oh, well, let me get straight. Remember you try to steal the other man made his Paris and Penny stopped because she called her a war machine and Penny stops you. It's she because once her made it. Remember that day when we're Raven? That backfires and she defeats you. Everything you do falls like everything you do fails. Pretty much saying like, you, you suck, you're sorry, you weak. At the end of the day, you've not done anything. It's like, hmm, if someone told, oh, if someone could just told you that, oh yeah, that's right, me. You have, you can't be strong. You have to be smart as well. You can't be deserving. You gotta be worthy. Like Watts was just going in on that. I just loved it. He spoke every little fact, and, and Cinder was getting pissed because he saw the maid in Paris blowing throughout her. But he, he wasn't scared. He was like, I'm telling you the exact truth. I'm telling you the exact truth that you need here is that that you're trash, and that you're sorry, and that you're weak because you can't do anything right. And you know, she 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 stops her moment itself and is like you know. She brings them back. No, she brings them back. Oh, right, right, they're on the building, right? They're, they're on the building to remind you. So she brings back um, Watts, you know, puts them, puts them back. And, you know, all of a sudden she just sits down. She has a tear in her eye. And it's like, okay, are we supposed to feel sorry for you right now? Because you done some fucked up shit in this whole entire season. So, and this whole, the whole entire um, series. So, like, uh, we ain't going to feel no sympathy for, for you. So, yeah, like. Girl, you, you you ain't shit at the end of the day. So, whatever. So, what else do we have? I have so yeah, blah blah blah. So, uh, oh yeah. So now uh, we get to the other. Uh, we get to the other uh, crew member of, of uh, John, Oscar, and Ren, including you know uh, Emerald. Now, it's assuming if we're assuming that you know Hazel's dead. I mean, Grant, I'm always one of those people. It's like you know, if the body's not found, they're not dead. Like. Clearly, Raven, I mean, Cinder was not dead when she was defeated by, uh, by Cinder. But well, with Hazel, I mean, I would say to a certain percent she said he's dead, because I don't think he would survive that blast. But, um, um, but like I said, you don't see a body, so, I mean, you never know how that works. You never know. So, um, they do get a call from, uh, from Blake, and I'm like, hey, yes, we're all right. We're, um, uh, you know. We're getting ready, you know, to meet up with you guys. So, yeah. So, no, as they're walking together, um, Oz has, you know, hey, let's work in the area of Emerald. And, you know, they don't want to <laughs> Raven, I don't know, Yang's like, why should we work with her? She's the reason why I have this arm right now. And now, here's the thing. Emerald was like, hey, oh, let me go. We just do, we don't like each other. We don't trust her. So, let me go. Like, John's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Oz and Oz, uh, um, Oscar and we're like, hey, we can use it right now. I mean, right, like, here's the thing, like, what I like about shows is that I like it when enemies work together to defeat a stronger enemy because that's one of the reasons why I loved, you know, the apocalypse storyline and, and on the X-Men and, like, games, comics, movies, and shows. I like how, well, the movie was pretty much bad, but I like how enemies work together to defeat a common enemy because, like, hey, you know, let's work together. We might not like each other, but, like, in order for us, you know, to have a better ending for all of us, we had to defeat this enemy. So, it's definitely leaning towards, you know, you know, and Cinder and Ember and the guys, you know, working with them, working with Ruby to stop Sam. But you also see how, you know, the petal, um, do you know the flowers are, uh, are purple, Ren sees her emotions. <laughs> now, I don't think we saw purple, but you can tell me, tell you that, you know, she's, well, she's scared, she feels sorrow, because you still even more so when, you know, when they walk through Alice and you see the people. She sees the kid and she's like, "Oh wow! Like I am part of this right now. I'm the reason why this is happening." But um, uh, another thing happened between. Okay, so and also as they were talking about Emerald, work, as they were talking about you know Emerald trying to work with them, Oz brings up, "Hey, we already had another person who we don't, who we not might not like help helped us." And Ren's like, "Um, um, Oz, Osman," and she's like, "There was a wait. Osman's back here. It's like he's been guiding me." When I was taking the punishment, he would like no, he took over, so I would have to what so I would not have to take any of the punishment that Hazel gave me. He trusts me with his with his staff. Like pretty much, you know, um they talk about you know how you know the kinetic energy in into the staff. They was just using all these years. 
pulling up like for generations upon generations you're using it for this attack and he trusted me with that so Oscar's like Oscar's like hey you know without um, Osbin you know we would not be here right now so you know I know we're not we might not be a fan of him right now but we have to work with him in the time being so like we're, we're, we're like we don't have much of a choice right now so um you know it's like I said, you gotta get all the help you can get at this point. You have a bigger enemy, so you have to get all the help you can get. So we get back to Ironwood, and you know, um, he's like, "We saw the bomb. That's good." Because like uh, Winter tells me, that wasn't us that set the bomb. Because okay, we still have the bomb. That's good. But the problem is, uh, we have another problem though. Uh, uh, Crow and uh, Robin are escaped. You know, Harry gets angry and like. Her thing in her is Harriet. She yo, she's a fake badass man. Like she, like she acts all tough, but she, she ain't shit. Like she ain't shit. Like I don't know why you, you want to put on this little tough, this tough person. Act like we all know you ain't tough. You know, we all know you. We all know you. Sorry, we know not sorry. All you, we all know you're like I'm gonna call y'all soft, but like y'all definitely have remorse. Like y'all, y'all put on that. Anyways, they have a job to do, but you know, they're they're just fake tough guys right there. So yeah. So pretty much, you know, they still don't have Penny. Ira was like, "Hey, I have, I have an idea. Bring me John, Yang, and uh, Red. I've made the same mistake I did with uh, with um, with Crow. I should have, you know, killed Co and Robin when I had a chance. I won't make that mistake again when I wait, when I when I get when I have the others. And Harriet's like, "Uh, oh, that's not possible because Winter let them go. She let them go into the monster to save their friend." And you know, and that and that pisses off Ironwood, which to me is like, like it, it, she. I'm telling you, man, like he. I'm sorry, man. I, this this is my thing. If he dies in this, I won't care. Because at this point, right now, it's like he's just. I didn't. I didn't get to the worst part about him. What happened in this episode? He's like so worried about the smallest things, where it's like you know you should be working together with the people. But you don't want to do that. You want to be like so hard headed, and you know, like at first it's like we don't have anything right now. We lost. Like how am I supposed to get Penny now? Like, oh my god, this sucks. Winter, why are we doing? I'm pretty sure Winter is gonna get punished for that. But as things seem to be, you know, uh, as things seem to be like all hopeless for Ironwood at least, um, he uh, he. Wait, wait, let me see. He is um uh, oh no 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 okay um okay he um he gets no he gets word that you know there is some uh, wise military of um ships you know going to Mantle and he figured out, okay what their plan was He's like oh they're going to Mantle they were all trying to save Mantle this whole entire time so this gave him an idea an idea so as we I'm not sure if I'm skipping along like this please excuse please you know correct me if I, if I am or not but. Then we get to uh, Cinder, and now she gets, receives a text message from from Neil, like, "Hey, your boss, <coughs> your boss won't stay dead, but you will when you, she notices when I have this. You know what? If you want it, you want this time. You know what I want. So she can't talk, but she can text. Okay. Now, what are what are what is her egg game? Is I mean, I forgot what her boss's name from the first couple seasons of Ruby, how he he died. Forgot his name. She might want to bring him back, but like that last question, I don't know what." What Neo wants, but right now, you know, Neo is she's definitely a wild card in the season right now because now she has the lamp. And you know, once Cinder, like, uh, for already, I was already mad that you know the lamp is gone. So, Grant for Salem, I thought she would know that Neo has it, but Grant, you know, she'll go right confront her people, be like, hey, where the hell is the lamp before I confront her? So, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, Cinder gets mad. And, you know, what's like, hey, what's going on? She, Grant, she didn't tell him. We get, we get next. We get to, um, we get to the crew. Um, everyone's re reunited right now. Um, everyone's happy. Yang and Ruby, you know, they're cool again. Yang and Blake, you know, we know there's some feelings right there. Now I'm gonna say this, but I'm, just, I'm not trying to come out, you know, girl and girl relationship. I don't mind. I don't. I mean, I have, I have friends that are lesbians, and I have friends that are gay, so it's all good. But like, do y'all think that Yang and Blake make make, make a good couple? Granted, they are my two favorites from the group. I love them both, but do you think they make a good couple? You know? 
maybe. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I thought they were gonna kiss too, but I'm like, nah. I wanted, I wanted them to kiss, like just, but hey, you know, it's just real between us. But I mean, maybe, maybe that'll happen later in the later in the future. I don't know, but like, I, I just don't. I don't know. Together, it's like you know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not hating on girl relationship. Y'all already, 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 already said my piece about it, but like, it was girl 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 relationship with like Yang and Yang and Blake. <clears throat> I, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see how that goes at the end of the day. So then they say, okay, where's um? They said, why is Emerald here? And you know, well, I say hey, I can speak for her. And then you know, Brent X, where's uh? Where's Nora? And as soon as you know, you know, everyone's all being happy. They get a call from May, and uh, and it's like, hey, there's white ships here. But it's like, oh my, she's like, oh my god, we got every everybody get back to the uh, get back to the uh, to, uh get back uh, get, everybody get back, pretty much. Back. God, I am so, this video sucks right now. I am. Oh my god, this is a this is a trash ass video right now. But I'm already further further towards the end of the episode, so I'm gonna just finish it right now. Oh my god, I'm just been like, I'm all over the place today this episode, but um. It, you know, the, the look on May's face, it was it just was not good. And then we get it Brock as an interruption, you know. It's Ironwood, you know. Part one was villainous videos. Like he, he looked like some, like a like a, a pure villain in this video. And he, he pretty much said I'm not the, I'm gonna make this short. He pretty much says, um, yes, Sam was defeated for now, but she'll be back. And for us to defend ourselves, we need Penny. So he didn't say their names, but I have a bomb right now and if ruby even if you guys do not do not give me penny in an hour i'm going to destroy use this bomb on mantle i don't want to do this but i have to it this is and like he's just going to say at this point that's why i'm hoping you know will someone from the ace op step up well i'm maybe maybe crow and robin will get there first because right now ironwood is he or ironwood's lost it like He's willing to destroy a civilization to get to get Penny. I, I, was, I, not, I mean, yeah, I'm just say this. Suppose if they don't, suppose if you bomb the if you bomb Mantle, you don't have any, any more enemies you just created just now. You already have enemies like they like forget, forget, forget Sam. Never like, be like, yo, we got we got to fucking kill you, uh, because right, you just freaking lost it. I don't, I don't think it's going to come down. I don't think it's going to happen. But well, what the question is, what are they going to do? Like, what are they going to do? Um, they have an hour to, to reply. So, will they give? Will they not? Because if they give her penny, then it's like, okay, I'll leave Mantle alone. They can defend for themselves. But it's like, bro, y'all are old, y'all are for the same thing. Y'all have the same goal. Let's stop sailing together. And so you know, you just, like, it's one of those. He's just. He's just proven to he's just proven to me that it's like you know it kind of reflects in today's world. It's like okay, the higher clouds will, will, will look will look out for them. What the lower clouds? Hey, you guys are on your own. Like I said, that I care about my people and hiring all you people down there. We don't give a shit about you. So he's he's a terrible ruler right now. And the fact that you know, if he does not get Penny, he's willing to destroy a city and a town just get what he wants. But he's lost it. Like at this point now, it's like I don't care if he dies. Now, the the broadcast he he uh, he uh, he uh, sent is just for the people in Atlas. Is it like all? Of, is it all of Remnant? Like I don't know. Probably just that because now uh, cause Cinder and uh, Cinder and, and Watts saw the message too. So I don't know, man. But like I kind of hope the next episode we see a little bit more of what of not what uh, of uh. Crow and Robin because Crow and Robin have not really had had like you know much screen time in this volume. Like I I get it they're in prison, but it's like I hope now you know now that they're out of prison we get more we get more of a uh, we get more of a um, screen time with them. And you know and I gotta say this man, this second half of, of volume eight right now it, it's good man. Like every ending's like oh shit oh shit oh shit like. Well, well, like, well, the, well, the first, well, the season, well, the season premiere of the half se of season eight at the end was with the whole, um, uh, um, with the whole, uh, the, the, the Grim and the human, uh, well, not Grim, the person, the, the end, and that was okay, but the ending of, uh, 
the second of episode nine was cool. The end of this one's really cool because, like I said, um, Iris gave him is giving him a chance. You either give me a penny in an hour, or I'm gonna destroy Mantle. I'll use this bomb, and I'm hoping someone from the Ace Ops kind of like says something because now I'm pretty sure now you know Winter's gonna get punished. Mara, hopefully he take he turns Horia, you know, but like you know leaves Ironwood. Like they 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 all have to know what Ironwood is doing is insane. We all have to know that what he's doing is insane. So, who's gonna get the Ironwood first? Is Ironwood gonna Ironwood gonna die? See, like, this is the problem. They're focusing on each other. And it's like we here we are. We fighting against each other. Well, you know, we can just we have right now. We can build our defenses when Salem, Salem comes back. But you know, you don't do, you don't want to. Do it. You just care about your own people. You want to destroy Mantle just to get <coughs> just, just to get Penny, just to get Penny. And then again, this part of it's on you because. You got Watts involved in this. So, uh, you know he's going to get betray you. So, I was, I was in this season he's just a freaking idiot. He's a dumbass. Like, like I said, if, if he dies, I, I won't, I'm not going to be losing sleep. I'll low-key will, will be happy. But what are they going to do with him? I, I don't know. Uh, I think we have uh, we have six episodes left. And I said, this second half is good. I mean... I don't know what's gonna happen in, in these next couple episodes. It feels like we're like getting towards the end, but we're not just there just yet. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for him, man. And you know, I'm hoping you know, even though you know the season was longer, you know, due to COVID, we'll get because because we had a break. I'm still hoping you know, season volume nine will, will appear in um this coming fall, and I believe is this will, that will be the last Ruby season. I think they said they would do like nine seasons, but we'll see about that. But uh, tell me, you know, give me a like and a share comments if you guys like this video. Like I said, this video, I mean, I, I was just, just all over the place today. Um, I just, ugh, it just wasn't the greatest video, but you know, I had to give you, I had to give you this video. Like I said, I'm not gonna like, you know, not give you this video. I, this is the first time, you know, I've actually been talking about Ruby on my channel. So, like I said, shout out to all the people that have done the Ruby series from volume one to now. Like, y'all are the OGs. Like, me, I'm just talking about what I love. I mean, Better late than never. I mean, by, like I said, by the time I started watching the show, um, we were in uh, they were in, we're, we're now in volume five. Like I started watching this show when they were on in volume five, towards the end of uh, 2017. That's when I started watching. Uh, well, so I watched. I started watching in the fall of uh, 2017, right after Comic Con. So, yeah, like I said, I really enjoy Ruby. I understand why some people might not like it, but I really, really do enjoy the show. So that's one of my show. To, like I said, on Fridays, I look forward to watching WandaVision, which is as far as going to be the last episode, but we'll have uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Every Saturday is, uh, you know, uh, is uh, da 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 is, uh, is uh, Ruby. So, like, look, I, get, I, get, I look forward to, to the weekends, man. It's always fun. So, like I said, I'm tired. Like I said, give me a share. Give me a like. Uh, give me a like. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment what you think about the episode, which already is going to happen in the future. And, um, you know, follow me on both my Instagram pages, uh, my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on my Anchor Podcast, where I talk things all about culture. And always remember, as J. Cole said, there is no such thing as a life greater than yours. Take care, everybody.